Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the fuel filter on a carburetor engine. For the most part, they're generally the same. Um, <clears throat> this is a Rochester Quadrajet on this car here. And I don't think the fuel pump's ever actually been, or the, well, the fuel pump hasn't been changed. I'm changing that right now. But the fuel filter hasn't been changed either. So, you want to come in here. Right here on the front of the engine, right here. I know, bad practice to be smoking around this, but you got this little nut right here, so it's 5 eighths, and you got this big nut over here about an inch. You got to get a wrench, put it on this big nut. Most people use uh, line wrenches so that they don't end up slipping the, the nuts, and that's that's a great idea. I just don't have any of those. Um, so we're going to be using regular old hand tools for this. I've already broken the nut loose right here. So I can turn this with my fingers. So we'll just undo that. So now that that's undone, we have to undo this bolt to gain access to the filter. So give me two seconds and I'll do that. Now I just wanted to show you what the filter looks like. On these older carburetor cars, they're little cartridge filters. It's just this little guy right here. Now when you're putting this in, you want to make sure that this part right here is facing where the fuel comes into the filter. So this part goes to the back of the carburetor. This part goes towards the fuel line. You can see the difference. You have to make sure you have it in the right spot. Okay, well, it might be hard to hear me at times from the wind and because I have a case on my phone. But let's come around the side here. I'll just undo that. Uh, I might actually need the wrench. Sorry about this great camera work, guys. Okay, so we got the filter housing out here. So we'll just pull the old filter out. Now you can see there's a huge difference. Take these into the light. Now the one on the left side is the old one, and one on the right side is the new one. Doesn't look too too dirty, but you can definitely see it needed to be changed. It's pretty pretty gross, honestly. There might be a little bit of residual fuel when you pull this out, but it's not that big of a deal, it's just a couple of drops. It's amazing. It's running now. All because of that little fuel filter. Was preventing the entire car from running. This dirty little bastard right here stopped that bastard from running. <laughs> 